Yo guys, what's up? Today we're doing the Valorant Inspect Animation Combo. Uh, here it is. That's the move, and here is a slow-mo. All right, guys, very excited to present you this combo. This combo is made up of a bunch of different moves that I already have tutorials on in the description, so check that out. Um, in this tutorial, all I'm gonna do is, because this is a combo, I'm gonna go through um, on a high-level overview at first, and then I'll go into more details later. Uh, so for right now, I'm just gonna name some tricks and, and show you how the trick goes. So first of all, it starts off in the open position, and to get into that open position, I just did a basic horizontal open. Next, I'm gonna do a basic horizontal close to get into the closed position, at which point we can go into the behind the eight ball, which looks like that. After the behind the eight ball, you're gonna to wanna to catch just hanging on to the bite handle, like so. So, basic horizontal close, followed by behind the eight ball. From here, we can go an index rollover over our index finger. And when we catch, we want to catch with our index finger in the way here. So, basic horizontal close, behind the eight ball, index roll, catching on your index finger. At this point, we can do a Y2K thumb roll around your thumb. The difference is that the we're hanging on to the safe handle, so the bite handle is going to come at our finger. So we really have to do a dodge to get out of the way of the sharp side of the blade here. So, basic horizontal close, behind the eight ball, index rollover, Y2K, and at this point we can go into a short stop, and that is that move right there. Finally, at the end, we do a simple reverse grip to forward grip flip, is how they do it in the game. Finally, putting this move all together, we get the basic horizontal close, behind the eight ball, index rollover, Y2K, short stop, followed by the flip. Okay, so you just saw a very high level overview talking about the main tricks. If you want to, you can go in the description, learn each of those tricks really well, and this will come together just like a breeze, no problem. On the other hand, if you're brand new, you don't know anything about that, and you just wanna try and see if you can do this, uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go through flip by flip, roll by roll, you can try your best to follow along. It's gonna be pretty tough. So I'd recommend if you get stuck, again, check the description. But this is just to make this tutorial totally complete. I'm not gonna really talk too much about the individual tricks. I'm just gonna go through the whole move with each and every kind of finger movement and thing that happens. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off hanging on to the safe handle in the open position. So blades out, thumb on the safe handle, four fingers along the back. I'm gonna take the back of the blade and flip it over my knuckles, just like so, and it's gonna hit between my first and second knuckle there. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the bite handle and let it drop, just like so. So again, knife is open, flip the knife over my index finger, and then I'm gonna let the bite handle drop. At this point, I'm gonna take the bite handle and flip it over the back of my hand, just like so. Finally, I'm gonna take my bottom three fingers, open them, 
and close the knife just like so. So what that'll look like, over my finger, down, over the back of my hand, fingers open and close. Next, I'm gonna go into a few rolls. So the next part is gonna be yeah, a, num a series of rolls. Starting off, I'm gonna, from hanging onto the knife in this position, I'm going to remove my index finger. I'm gonna take the bite handle and flip it over my middle finger. Then I'm gonna take my index finger and put it in front of the safe handle, just like so. From here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to pull towards myself and the knife is gonna do a half rotation. So starting with the safe handle here, the knife's gonna rotate halfway around my hand and I'm gonna catch the safe handle again. One thing to notice, you wanna catch it so your fingers are touching, just like so. I'm gonna start right from the beginning again here. So with the knife open over my first knuckle, let the knife drop. The bite handle is gonna go over my hand, open my bottom three fingers and close the knife. Remove my index finger, flip over my middle finger, insert my index finger, pull towards myself. I'm gonna do a half rotation just like so. From here, I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna twist my hand from being horizontal like so to being vertical like so. And my thumb is gonna go in between the handles. This is gonna set me up for the next roll, which is gonna be a thumb roll, just like so. And what this thumb roll is going to do one full spin around my hand. So it starts in this position, does a full spin, and ends in that position. This first roll, Second roll around my thumb. At this point, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your hand, which is now vertical, you're gonna turn it back to being horizontal, catching it in this, this kind of a position here, you see how I'm catching it, and you're gonna fling with your wrist to fling the bite handle out, and you're gonna turn your hand being back to vertical again to sneak your thumb in and go for a thumb roll. Now this part of the roll is very dangerous because the bite handle is gonna be, or the, the sharp side of the blade is gonna be swinging at your fingers. So what you have to do is you have to do something called the wrist pass, which is to dodge the blade and get it out of the way. So let me show you again, right from the top, what that looks like. Over your hand, let it drop, over your hand, close, index out of the way, flip out of your middle finger, insert your index, pull towards yourself, half a spin, thumb goes in, full spin, catch again, do this little flick around the thumb again, and this time you saw it hit my finger there, but what you really want to do is do it fast enough that you can dodge out of the way. So I'm going to show you this fast motion, what this should look like from here. Something like that. So next, what's going to happen is from here, we are going to go around our index finger. So you can flip, hang on to the bite handle right now, you can flip over your index finger, and it's going to do one full spin, What's gonna happen is you're gonna catch the safe handle and you're gonna take your index finger and wrap it around the safe handle so that way when you come up, it's gonna land on your index finger just like so. And this is the dull side of the blade so that's not gonna hurt you. So again, from the open position, over the back of your hand, close, index out, around your index, around your thumb, around your thumb again. The bite handle comes, you dangle it out of the way. Your index, we're gonna go around our index now. We're gonna catch, hooking our index finger so that when we come up, we wind up here. So next, once we're in this position, we're gonna go and angle our hand again so our thumb is lined up here. We can remove our middle finger and do a thumb roll around our hand, like so. And catching with our hand pointed downwards. Over our hand, close. Thumb roll, index roll, catching, and one more thumb roll, just like so. Pointing downwards. At the end of this catch, you wanna be pointed downwards so you don't cut your fingers. Lastly, we have, this is gonna be the trickiest part of the move, and this is when we go backwards, back around our thumb, and what you wanna do is you wanna catch the safe handle like so. So we caught the bite handle. What's gonna happen is this bite handle, or the safe handle that's on top, is gonna to come around about maybe half a rotation. 
we're going to sneak our hands underwards and catch it just like so. And we want to catch it with our index finger and middle finger. Close, around, thumb, thumb again, index roll, Y2K or thumb roll. Finally, we're going to go backwards around our thumb, catching the safe handle just like so. What we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, what's this called, ring finger, place it in front of the safe handle. This part is also very tricky. What you're going to do is you're going to use that momentum to keep the handle flinging in the air. The, ha the blade is going to separate and you're going to catch the bite handle just like so. So again, we go backwards around our thumb, catching the safe handle. Ring finger comes. You're just hanging on with these two fingers now. We do a swing and catch with our thumb just like so in the reverse grip. Finally, to end the move, you guys saw it. You're just going to do a simple flip. So you can just use your wrist and pull backwards a little bit. So a little bit upwards wrist flick and pull back. And that is going to allow you to flip the knife however you want to flip it, keeping all the handles together. I'm going to go through this one more time, again, just like that. So I'll go through it even more detail. Back of the handle, drop, handle, open your fingers, close. Index out of the way, over your middle finger, insert your index. One spin, thumb goes in, two spins, thumb goes in again. Three spins, wrist pass dangling out of the way, index finger, over your index finger, catching on your index finger, thumb roll, dangling out of the way, backwards thumb roll, catching with these fingers, insert your ring finger, up and over, like this. Okay, that's kind of tricky, but you saw it. And what you can do is if you catch it like this, you can push down with your index finger and get it out of the way to catch like that and around. So finally, to show off the move again, I'm going to do it. try and do it as slow as possible, but it, like in real time, you know, not pausing. There you go. That was a little sloppy and slow, but that's just what I wanted for you guys. So, and now I'm just going to do it. There it is. That's the move. Hope you guys like this one. Let me know how this format was. I'm pretty new to doing combos. I want to do more combo videos in the future. Uh, but hope you guys like this one. Again, check the description if you get stuck. If you know all of those, this is going to be a cakewalk. Those won't be a cakewalk, but uh, you can do it. I believe in you. Peace.